may be shot for a new appliance during the Memorial Day holiday weekend sales, but were the deals you saw actually discounts? At least one consumer says no, and now he's suing Home Depot on behalf of consumers everywhere. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello is in this morning to break it all down for us this morning. Now, Steve, according good to... Good morning to you. Yeah. Yeah, good morning. We've all seen the uh, pricing strategy of retailer will share kind of what the regular retail price is right next to the sale price so you can really kind of compare and see exactly how much money you're saving. But two Texas consumers have alleged that when it comes to the Home Depot, those original reference prices are actually false. According to the lawsuit, one of the complainants says he bought a Samsung washing machine for $578, which he perceived as a 35% discount from the posted reference price of $899. Here's the problem. In the seven months following his purchase, he actually tracked the price of that washer and says it never sold for that regular reference price. He says he was induced to make the purchase because of the perceived savings, which resulted, he says, in actually paying more than he would have otherwise. And Steve, according to the suit, that's not the only example of inflating these reference prices. So the pair filing suit says, uh, yes, they actually went to back to Home Depot and kind of looked at all sorts of different products. Uh, they tracked other appliances for months and none of them actually ever sold for the original reference price. The uh, lawsuit alleges that, quote, the conduct artificially increases demand for the deceptively priced products and induces consumers to pay more based on a false impression of their value. Now, no date has been set for any kind of trial. Home Depot says, sorry, we can't comment on ongoing litigation, but they have gone, gone on record as saying we always strive to be our customer's best advocate for value. Now, Steve, we know that initial ad is saying 75% off. Just kind of grabs all of our attention. We see it on social media. We see the commercials on TV. So how do consumers actually know if there really is value in that sale? You know, I think that it's important to understand whether or not the original retail price is something that something's selling for, because we see this pricing strategy all the time. This certainly is not unique to Home Depot. You know, how many times do you go into a discount retailer and it'll say original price with a slash and your know, other stores slash and then, you know, and then this store. So you really need to know whether or not this item is selling for that amount of money. So one of the websites I like to use is a price tracking website called Camel Camel Camel. Now, this only tracks prices on Amazon, but there's so many products on Amazon that it could really give you a good point of reference so that you know whether or not what you're looking at is a price that merchandise actually sells for. I've posted a link to it on our station website. And when you come see me online, facebook.com slash save me Steve. Steve, thanks for your time. It looks like we got to do some homework before we try to get a yep. sale on some appliances. Thanks again.